Hello everyone and welcome back to the Caffey, my name is Isaac and we're back playing some Attack of the B-Team for episode 42 and what I want to do with this episode is I want to sort out the uh, the problem we've got with the swords down here. Now at the moment we've just got uh, I think 9 diamond swords here, we've got 9 diamond swords just sort of sitting around in here and I'm just going to turn the sound down, Just it's really you probably can't hear it that much but it's quite loud for me. Um, we've got 9 diamond swords in here and they're not doing too badly, they're probably going to last us a little bit of time but um, what's going to happen eventually is they're going to kill enough mobs and they're going to break and what we're going to have to do then is go back and manually replace them both, which is going to be cost a lot of diamonds. We've only got, I think, like, what is it, 40 left? Yeah, we've only got 40 diamonds left, which is not a ton of diamonds. And we kind of don't want to have to come and manually fill this thing up all the time. I kind of just want an XP farm that I can just leave, and it's just going to do its thing and never, ever stop working. Uh, that, that's the dream. So what my plan is today is to use some Tinker's Construct stuff uh, to get this done. Now, what I intend to do is I intend to make... Um, like iron swords or maybe like I don't know I think I'll probably go with iron swords because it's just easy to do we've got quite a bit of iron uh, I think <laughs> maybe iron we've got 160 let's take like a stack uh, that should be more than enough I want to make a few iron swords probably uh, I don't know we could make three of each but I don't really see much point in making three of each if we're gonna like um, fix them so my plan is to get uh, probably I'll probably just make three in total for the uh, for the whole system and um, put one in each and my plan is that uh, when the, uh, the sword is damaged and when it's like fully destroyed because what happens with Tinker's tools is when the durability fully runs out you don't lose the tool it just becomes in like a damaged state and then stops working so what I'm going to do then is have item duct pull the swords out once they're completely damaged take it to a um, energetic infuser because I'm going to add the leadstone energy cube onto the tool itself so that it actually has like its charge instead of durability and so when it runs out I'll just set it to an energetic infuser charge it up again pull it back out put it back in the um, uh, autonomous activators and we should be good to go so every time the sword dies it gets pulled out charged up sent back used up again and the cycle continues which shouldn't be too big of a problem we're okay for power at the moment i mean uh this guy is running out eh, it's not doing too bad 500 but that's not not great a lot of them are just sort of like circling around at the moment this guy's still disconnected i think this whole section is actually disconnected from water but that's fine it's fine we'll come back to this you can see it's still got a full thing we're not like using power for much so Let's see, I've just requested a bunch of iron. Let's uh, see how much iron we're going to need to make all this stuff. So we need, uh, to get a sword, we're going to need a wide guard, a tool rod, and a sword blade. So we actually don't need that much iron. We need two per sword, and two times three is six, because my maths is just the best. So here we go. Six iron should get us what we need. We're also going to need uh, three of, one of each of these. And look at that, as if by magic we have three slots. It's just amazing. <laughs> there we go. So I'll wait for that to cook up and that should be good to go. Whilst that does that, we're going to want to make an energetic infuser. So, energetic infuser basically allows you to charge up any tools you put in there. Uh, and to make it, we need a machine frame, some redstone transmission coils, redstone reception coils, copper, and a redstone energy cell frame. We're going to need a few of these as well because uh, we need them to do the upgrade to make it so the tools take charge. So we need like four of those. So we're going to need lead. We need a bunch of lead. Let's take like... 64 <laughs> submit we're going to need a bunch of glass for the machine frames and for the energy cells so let's take like 64 we're going to need redstone we might as well take 64 and what else we're going to need gold we need a few of we don't need 64 gold we can just take like uh 12 i think that's the right amount uh unless we don't have any transmission coils uh oh we do we have we have the reception coil that's fine so we'll take two of you, oh no, one of you, and then we need a transmission coil, which I believe is silver and redstone. So, I think that's all we need. I think, maybe. <laughs> I might be wrong. So, in order to make this guy, we're going to need a, oh, we need a lot of copper as well. Copper, take a stack of that. We can always dump this stuff back in that we don't use, so that's fine. All right, so in order to make you, we're going to need a block of redstone, so we need three of those. Uh, one, two, three of those. Take them, guys. And then craft three of you up. Nice. And then, oh, no, we're going to need a fourth one, aren't we? Okay. Yeah, because we need three for the swords and one for the charging thingamajig. So, let's make one of you. No, is that a, a conductance coil? Flippy neck, you know. <laughs> the only one we didn't grab. Uh, conductance coil. Let's grab that one as well, then. Submit. And these guys are probably all smelted up by now. They are, so let's just start draining these. Doop, doop, doop. There we go. We could have made, like, the bindings out of paper and such to just, like, save on resources, but we don't really need that many, um, like, add-ons. We're only really using the lead 
uh, the, the, the charge add-on. What we could have done, I guess, is... I, actually, I don't think I'd have done anything. I was going to suggest we could have put the um, a diamond on there to increase durability, but I don't think that works with the charge. I think it only gets the uh, the 400,000 that the leadstone energy cell has on its own. So, keep going with that. That's six, isn't it? Oh, we might need, a, we might need another, another one. Let's just dump some stuff in this chest. I'll come back and move in a minute. Let's take that away, that away, there we go. Okay, grab you two. Uh, ding, ding, ding. Do we need three more iron? Did I completely just do that wrong? Oh, no, 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 we didn't. Okay, ding, ding, ding. There we go. Okay, so we've got that. We've got our leadstone energy cell frame. Do we need a few full-on leadstone energy cells? That might be what we require. Let's just have a quick look here, what it says. Uh, flick, flick, flick. It's like right at the back of the book. So we'll just like rapid click with the mouse. And here. Uh, do, 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 do. Can you tell us what this is? Ladstone energy cell. Okay, so I think we do need the cell. So we're going to need some electrum. Electrum. Good thing we've got some of that. We're going to need two of you. Submit. We're also going to need. Uh, they're just confused. That's what we're doing. Okay, is, are you silver? You are good stuff. And then machine frame. Make one of those. Good stuff. And then we'll just craft up one of you. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we've got that. Can we make some more of these? Probably can. We need the conductance coils. Take those. And then the full-on leadstone energy cells like that. And why can't we make the last one? I'm sure we made four of those things. Oh, no. We made the thing we didn't make. Okay, okay. I see. So I'll make one of you. And then one of you. There we go. Okay, so we've got a few of those now. Nice. Let's pick all these up. Let's go to our tool station. And then let's throw... Can I throw three of these in? Looks like it. So we don't want to be in there. We want to be in the sword section. And kaplunk. There we go. Nice. So, tool forge. Uh, we could have used the tool station again, actually, but it's fine. And then we'll just connect one of you. And... I don't think these stack, do they? No. Neither do the cells. One to you. And then one to you. Nice. Okay. We're also going to need a bunch of item ducts to make this work. So, do we have any item ducts lying about? We do. Oh my god, we got like a billion. <laughs> Let's take, like, I don't know, uh, 32. I think we might need less than that, but it's fine. It's better to have more than to have less. It's always better to have more. So, we'll take all these guys when they come down. And I think uh, we're going to need some redstone energy conduits as well to link up this energetic infuser. And I think I'm just going to put this guy in um, behind this wall. So, let's take, like, 10 of you, submit. I think what I'm going to do is just have the um, the energetic infuser like over here somewhere. I've, you can see I found where the pipe is, so I can pull around and uh, and charge that guy up. We're also going to need actually like six servos, so let's grab some of those. Do we have any servos lined about? We've got three, so we'll take all of those. Then the rest are just not too hard to make actually, so we can make those servos. Uh, plunk, Jesus, <laughs> yeah, we can make quite a few of those. Let's take all those guys. Thank you very much. Okay, how are we doing? Have we got everything we needed? Red Sun Energy Conduits? Yep, we got them. Good stuff. Bob's your uncle. We're good to go. Right, so let's pull this around. And like this. And then let's put the Energetic Infuser, say, here. All right, there. So that guy should start filling up. Okay, so now we're going to want to have item ducts pulling out of all of these and then going around into here, I think. And then we're going to want other ones coming out of... Let's actually just turn this guy around a second so that he's facing that way. And then we're going to want some covers here to stop connections. And uh, not like that. We're going to want covers on top. And then these guys coming back and connecting to those. Okay. So what's going to happen is I'm going to set these guys here to outputs. Let's just dig down a little bit so we've got a bit more room to work with. Oh, that was not the best idea in the world. Uh, let's just change that. Uh, you can go there. Ding, ding. That's fine. Okay. So we're going to change all these guys to outputs. And we have to put servos on them so that they pull out automatically. Like that. And then what we want to do is we want to set it so that these whitelist um, broken swords. And the way that we tell it we really want to pull out broken swords. Because at the minute, if I, uh, if I turn this on... And uh, put a sword. Uh, actually, this is it because that doesn't have an input at the bottom. That might be a thing. Uh, oh no, that is an input. Why are you not? 
pulling stuff out. Is that bottom not an... Oh, no, the bottom's an output. Why are you not pulling stuff out? You should, uh... Oh, it's kind of whitelisted swords. If I blacklisted swords, then... Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's just say I put that in there and then put in... Put in this sword. Does that pull it straight out? It does. Okay, it pulls it out and it should end up in the Energist Confuser. Not too sure why the diamond swords aren't working. Um, but to be honest, it's not really too big of a deal. Uh, are you getting there just really slowly or are you just not getting there? You might have ended up in a different... No, okay. Okay, there it is. Okay, right. I don't want you charging up yet. I don't want to matter too much. But what we're going to do is we're going to set it so that it... Oh, we're going to set it so that it whitelists only pulling out the broadswords. So we want you to have... Oh, we've got servers on. We want to whitelist broken swords only, not this one. And the way that we make it so it only pulls out broken swords is we tap in... Like at the minute, this one, for instance, got 8,400 in. If I put this guy in, it should... Pull him out, I guess. I mean, we have to... Oh, okay, so we had it right before. We want to um, use MBT. We want to use MBT. And I think that is the one that we need. So now, if we try to put this in. Basically, use MBT means that it's going to make sure that it only pulls out swords. Okay, that's not the right one. <laughs> we want it to use metadata. That's what we want. Okay. If it uses the metadata, it's going to see, it's going to see that the sword is not like exactly the same as the one that we put in before. Uh, a completely empty one. So when it sees that, it's not going to pull it out. So the minute it's not going to pull it out, as soon as it's completely dead, it will pull it out and take it over to the energetic infuser. And then we want to set these guys. Actually, I don't think we have to set these guys to anything. I was going to set them to receive the swords, but I think they're going to receive them anyway, so I don't think it's really too big of a deal. All right, let's set you to... Oh, you've got that already. I'll set the same thing. And then you as well. We want you set to the same thing. Whitelist. And I think everything else is fine. Yeah. Okay. So that should be all good to go. We do want them uh, ignoring redstone control. Take these out. Let's go and dump some of these in a chest somewhere. Uh, that was not what I meant to do, but it's fine. <laughs> Let's go up and up. And oh my god. There's always zombies in here. I don't know why. It's lit up all outside. The only thing I can think of is that maybe it's sort of like falling from the cliff face above. And then walking in on my house, which is like the only thing I can think of. Right, let's dump some of you away. Uh, did not want to do that with the saw, but it's fine. We'll uh, we'll grab it again when we're down there. That's fine. Okay. So, let's... Uh, I'm not liking the slow walk, so let's eat some apples, because that's always good. So, you've got a sword in. You don't have a sword in, so I throw the sword in you. You should get taken out and put in there. And then you'll charge up, and then you should end up back. Now, I'm... Yeah, I don't know. Because I think it might end up back in this very chest, like in the first one. Which is not what I want. So I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure if that's going to work. And then let's pull you two out. Pull those guys out. Go back to the top. Throw you in there. There we go. And then let's pull out our sword again because we lost it. Sword. Thank you. Submit. I'll take you back. It seems to be a lot quicker at delivering stuff to this pipe here at the top than it is to delivering the one down in the lab. The one down in the lab takes ages to get to. <laughs> right, so you should be charging up right now, which you are. And that's probably going to take a little bit of time to do, actually, because 400,000 redstone flux. That's like the whole thing there. Um, okay. So, yeah, this is basically the system that I've got. This is what I'm kind of happy with now. Uh, it is going to work. The downside is, I think, at the moment, it's going to try to put them all into here. Um, onto this autonomous activator, which is not great. However, I don't think it's... Uh, I'd like to fix it, but I think it's not that big of a deal. I think the autonomous activator, if it's right-clicking, might get any animals, any mobs close enough. Are you working? Or are we just going to get like a massive congestion of mobs? It looks to be working. Okay, that zombie's not getting attacked, so... Hmm... I don't think there's really any way for me to tell it to only put stuff. Let me try adding a server to this. Um, to tell it to only put stuff in, like only put one in. I don't think that's uh, an option. I can't get to this thing anywhere. Let's go down here. Yeah, I don't think it's an option to where I can just say to put one in. Uh, so, I think I mean, we could uh, decreasing send back size, sending size by one. Sending size by one. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do much with that apart from just like we could tell them all to request pipe, uh, request swords, and it might take its turn, but I don't think it's going to. I think it's just going to uh, send them all to one, which is 
not the best, but the only way that I can really think to combat that is to have three energetic infusers now. That's not a, a, a terrible idea. I mean, we've got we've got enough resources to make three of these. It is a bit of a pain. I mean, uh, it wouldn't matter that much, I guess. We could have like a pipes coming out here, going to here, energetic infuser, and background, and then the same here and here, and then just have like covers in between. That could work. Uh, what I think I might do is I'll see how this goes. Uh, I'll see if it like try at least tries to distribute it out between the pipes, or if it just goes to the first one every time. Uh, I'll take a look at it between this episode and next, and if it does that, then I might between this episode and next again um, set up some more energy to confuse us. But if it sort of like tries to distribute them out and ends up sometimes going to these ones, but just more often than not ending up in this one, I might leave it as it is and it, just see if it works. Because I think these swords are going to last quite a while uh, with 400,000 RF, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just see what happens. <laughs> and if it works, it works. If it does, it doesn't. But uh, yeah, I'm going to call it there for the episode, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit like, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.